one of the trickiest things in his life is how to figure out what truth is, okay? But Jesus talked about that, and he wasn't leaving us alone on that front either. In John 16, verses 12 through 16, he says this, I have much to say to you, more than you can now bear. But when he, the Spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all truth. He's saying the Holy Spirit's going to come. He's going to guide you into all truth. And you know what the Holy Spirit did? Eventually, he gave all the apostles and the prophets the words to write in Scripture. We have them now today. And he works with us as we read the Scripture and guides us into all that truth. He still works, and he guides in, in the context of the Scripture because he gave the Scripture, came from him. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears, and he will tell you what is yet to come. In other words, he's going to, the Holy Spirit gets the message from the Father and from Jesus. He will bring glory to me by taking what is mine and making it known to you. He's going to take the word of Jesus and make it known to us, because, and that will bring glory to Jesus. How do you get the word of Jesus? It came from the Holy Spirit, had it written in Scripture, and he guides you in it today when you read the Scripture. Remember that. All that belongs to the Father is mine. That is why I said the Spirit will take from what is mine and make it known to you. He's going to take the truth that Jesus know, knew and make it known to us. In a little while you will see me no more, and then after a little while you will see me. He's going to, he said, I'm going to be killed, I'm going to be buried, I'm going to be raised from the dead. Then I'm going to send the Holy Spirit to guide you into all truth. He's going to make Jesus' truth known to us. Rest in that, rejoice in that, study the Bible, and know the truth of God. I'll talk to you again real soon. Have a great day.